Hey friends, I'm playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Look at all these characters. Oh my god. This is beautiful. This is just great. This game in general is just great. I love it. It's amazing. Look at the visuals. They're so pretty and stylized. I am very... I am very glad I got this game on day one. It's so good. <laughs> Blue Toad looks so goofy as an elephant, just like Mario. Try to compare Mario in this game to Mario in the new Super Games. The new Super Games look so bland and lifeless in comparison to this. I love this new art style. It is gorgeous. Even without the art style, this game is amazing. It's real fun. Should I mention that the score is also great? I would mention the music in the final world, but I don't want to spoil the game. I don't want to give spoilers. This is a spoiler-free video. I'm still kind of getting used to Kevin F. Connie as Mario, but... But he still doesn't do a bad job. And if I pronounce his name incorrectly, I'm sorry. It's so charming. This entire game is super charming. I should probably switch to Mario just so you can hear his voice. Also, Daisy's voice changed too for some reason. A couple of things I am disappointed by are the lack of unique bosses and the lack of collision like in New Super Mario Brothers. I don't know, it makes sense considering all the wonder effects, but I still just kind of miss them and I wish there were at least an option in the menu. I have not tried out local multiplayer yet, but I'm talking in the case of online multiplayer. The online multiplayer is just kind of okay. Kind of gives me more Kirby and the Amazing Mirror vibes, if anything. What? Once you play the online multiplayer, you will perfect. You will perfectly understand why. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that this is like the best 2D Mario game of all time, 
And would I agree with them? Time to think of it, yeah. Honestly, yeah, it might, it might just be. I really mean it. This is peak gaming right here. It's not like game of the year for me, like Tears of the Kingdom, but, but still. Yes, I did also get Spider-Man 2 on the same day. And I'll review that game soon. I'm not finished with Spider-Man 2 yet. Just Mario Wonder. Okay, how do you pronounce their names? Are they Poplins? Poplins? I don't know. But they're really charming and cute, not gonna lie. Personally, I'd give this game, like, maybe a 9, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. I'm not sure. It's somewhere in that area. Even if it's not a 10, don't get me wrong. This game is amazing. I love it. Also, isn't Mir does the one-up sound effect... Kind of remind me of Super Mario World. Actually, scratch that. Yoshi's Island. It gives me more Yoshi's Island vibes. And I kind of love it. We... Instead of playing as Yoshi or Nabbit, I just decided to play as Mario throughout the entire campaign, just for a little bit of a challenge. And surprisingly, this game is actually relatively challenging. I thought it was going to be super easy like the new Super Mario Brothers games, but it's actually quite a bit harder. And I kind of like it. Honestly, I don't know why there's the option to turn off the flowers. The talking flowers. They're kind of charming. I'm not going to be playing too many levels here today, because I really don't want to spoil a majority of the surprises that this game will definitely give you. Oh god. Thanks, Hoppo. Sorry, I can't help you. Boing, boing, boing. I kind of like that there's the option to press ZL and crouch or go in pipes and stuff and ground pound. I don't really 
that's honestly kind of my preferred way to ground pound. Give me them coins. Money, 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 money. Ah! Oh yeah, just like Super Mario World, you can throw shells up again. Random, an unexpected surprise, but a welcome one. Oh god. Ooh, gimme. I'll see y'all later. I hope you liked this video and please play this game. It's super fun. And thank you, Charles Martinet, for all the childhood memories.